Hello, and welcome to the first part of my new series on how I will develop a farm in RimWorld. The basis of the plot will be the construction of a new farm for a family who fled from their previous home due to the fact that it was destroyed by raiders. The family consists of five people. This is the father who is a good builder and hunter, his son who has the same skills as the father but he is not as experienced due to his young age, the mother who acts as a cook, a plant grower, a doctor and she is also very smart and knows how to communicate well with people. The older daughter who inherited her mother's skills and also the younger very small daughter who also tries to be like her mother and sister in everything. In general, I hope to live with these people for at least a few years and try to keep them all alive. You are on the Johnny Play channel and here we go. On the side of the map, I saw a half-destroyed building and decided that it would be a good base for our future house. I immediately built walls and set up beds for the colonists. After that we laid a wooden floor and put a table for eating together with chairs. I soon set up a rice planting area and began seeding the land, while also setting aside storage space and building resource racks, and my colonists quickly began moving our medicine and food into the house. Later, I marked out an area for planting medicinal root and cotton and began the expansion of our main building. I immediately moved the racks to another room, after which I knocked down unnecessary walls in the main room and placed a research and stone cutting table in it. We also did not drag and built a separate room for the parents of this family. I also built a fence around my territory, beyond which I forbade my little daughter to go out, because I know that walks far from home can end very badly. If you understand what this is referring to, you can call yourself a real subscriber of my channel. I built a chess table and also expanded my warehouse a bit by building additional resource racks. I noticed that on the territory of our map there are predatory animals that in theory can attack my colonists, so to protect them from the threat I sent a father and his son to destroy the predators. After that I built a table for dividing animal carcasses and also made a fire outside to cook food. I decided that it is necessary to expand the warehouse even more because the resources are becoming really abundant. Because of this I built another room which I completely filled with racks for resources. I hope that in the future we will not need to expand our warehouse very often. By the way, I built an electric stove, which is still useless because we have no energy sources, but this is a temporary problem. I also disassembled space debris into steel and components, and also marked out the area for digging rock, and at that moment, two raiders decided to attack us at once. In fact, this is the first time I've seen the very first wave of raiders consist of more than one raider. In fact, there was nothing difficult in destroying them. One of the raiders was knocked down far from our positions, and the second, because he had a shield, came almost close, but was still destroyed by an accurate shot. Our colonists started digging in the place I marked out and eventually leveled the surface. After that, the construction of our new warehouse for resources began, which, by the way, will also house a refrigerator. In general, the construction did not take very long and we even researched and built a solar panel that will now provide energy for our refrigerator. After some time, I decided that I need to make the refrigerator bigger and after that I need to add another air conditioner. By the way, I also researched the batteries that I placed right in the warehouse. After that, I moved all the racks from the main building to our warehouse and also built the racks in the refrigerator. Now that we have a lot of free space, I decided that it is necessary to move the table for separating animal carcasses to a completely different room, which will be separated by a door. And I also moved the beds of my younger colonists to the past resource warehouse and built walls between each bed to create at least some privacy and their own space for each colonist. Realizing that a fire could start at any moment and burn all my buildings, I decided to replace all the walls of my buildings with stone ones and after that I also planned to build a stone wall around our farm. In general, the work went quite quickly and in one day we did finish the construction of the part of the wall that I had planned. We were again attacked by raiders, and this time there were as many as four men, and as usual I sent father and son to get rid of the enemies. It was a very easy defense because we just shot the enemy from a long distance while they were running from side to side without even understanding what to do now. And after that, I decided that it was time to build a crematorium and connected the warehouse to the main building with the room in which the crematorium is located right now. Imperial hunters came to our map and caused a huge disaster for our colony. They started hunting for Bumalop, and it is logical that after the death of Bumalops began to explode, which caused a terrible fire in the right part of my maps. I even wanted to order my colonists to start extinguishing the fire, but a miracle happened and rain began to extinguish the forest. 
Yes, the rain was accompanied by lightning and also set fire to the territory, but still immediately put out what it had set on fire. By the way, one of the lightning almost hit my colonists. My colonists were lucky that the lightning hit the place where they were a few seconds before and did not hit them. My little colonist has a pretty good knowledge of animal taming, so I sent her on a mission to tame a bumalop that will give us chemical fuel, and my youngest daughter coped with this task 100%. After that, she also independently brought the bumalop to the territory of our farm. I remembered that at the bottom of my map there is a cave from which, in theory, one of the next waves of raids can start. Because of this, I decided that it would be very logical to build a kill box in this cave in advance, closing all the other tunnels in parallel and leaving only one that would lead the raiders to their death. I continued building my wall around the farm and just at the same time I found out that the mother of the family was pregnant again. I made a very difficult decision and decided that at this moment we need to solve this issue in a very radical way. In general, the operation was successful and did not cause any complications at all. By the way, Predators appeared on the map again, which we, as last time, decided to destroy before they became a significant problem. And I also continued the construction of the wall. We were again attacked by raiders. This time there were only two of them and they again posed no threat to us at all. We put them down with a few well-placed shots, then undressed them as their clothes turned out to be pretty good and overall would be a nice addition to our wardrobe. Finally, the construction of the wall reached its logical conclusion and my base now has at least some defense and now it remains to build a kill box that will lure enemies into its bowels. But I will deal with this next time. Another raid, this time I was a little more afraid because the enemy had a long range weapon in the form of a bow. But this time, my two defenders showed themselves from the best side. They destroyed two enemies on the approach and the third simply ran away. I think that this is the end of the first episode of our new series. Please like, subscribe to my channel, comment on this video, and also watch other videos on my channel. Johnny was with you. Goodbye.